Okay guys, we're back and jumping into the third dimension with Subby here and he's gonna do some anima animating for us. Yeah, I guess so. So, uh, short introduction too? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Alright, so uh, I'm Subby and uh, I have been doing uh, animation and 3D for Stardust Galaxy Warriors and um, well, today I was thinking that for the anniversary I would use the same assets from the original game to create some uh, fun animation. Obviously, in this one hour I, I can't do magic, but uh, but I had this idea. Uh, I always, uh, for some reason, wanted to try out some uh, fighting scene with these uh, with these mechs, and now I just have the opportunity. So let's see how it turns out. Um, so I guess you can see my screen now, right? <laughs> uh, on the left you can see the, the Red Tiger character and on the right is the, the Silver Wolf. I will animate Red Tiger a little bit. And um, now these are the actually the original rigs from, from the game. Uh, almost three years old. Uh, they can't do much. <laughs> but at the time that's, that's what I or we were capable of so I will I will use these as they are, they are fun to, to work with still. So um, <clears throat> well I guess without further ado I, I can start. Yeah right? go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah well do you if, mind if, if I questions. Some questions? Yeah every now and then it's fine. Okay. So as you heard throw some questions in the chat and I'll ask them from Sabi. So let's see. Basically, uh, for this short animation, what I what I could do in this in this uh, time frame is to is to get the key poses and the timing of the whole animation down, and maybe try to have some in betweens as well. Um, and typically, this would be how I would work, anyways, with any animation. So. Um, yeah. So let's see. Uh, I will probably first get to the the key poses of this sequence. Uh, whoever activated the steam key, congratulations. Have fun. Oh yeah! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> you know, never you can't have it too simple if you do too easy then. So Sabi, as you modeled at least some of or all these, was it all these? Uh, I, I think yeah, I, I uh, modeled based on the concepts, of, uh, you know, team mm -hmm. uh, concepts. And uh, yes. So which one is your favorite? Red Tiger. <laughs> and also Silver Wolf, quite close to, to being favorite because that was the first one. Also, he went through like three or four iterations before we uh, mm. found it was a it was a good one. So. <clears throat> but yeah, I, what I like about them is that they have all their personalities and uh, they all four are different and and, and uh, so the the working with them was was really. Uh, Interesting, never got boring. Mm -hmm. Was there ever something that uh, there was like a sketch by them, and then when you started 3D modeling, you were like, hey, maybe we should do it like this? Are there those kind of moments? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of times, obviously, uh, the, the, you know, I saw the designs uh, being developed, and uh, I also had my influence on those. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Temu had the final call. And <coughs> but probably by the time it made it to to my desk, we were we were both like liking it. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we didn't have, I guess, resources and time to to make really fleshed out concepts, uh, you know, it was so that that probably I would get one or two images from from these Macs, mm -hmm. which meant that there were parts that I just didn't simply see, you know, they were not on the picture, so I had to uh, figure those things out, like for example the backs of, backs of the max and mm -hmm. and uh, s some parts uh, were not as detailed and than the others, so so uh, those I, I had to uh, do from, from fantasy basically. Mm -hmm. This rig has uh, some some limitations that I'm, <laughs> I'm not used to work with anymore. <coughs> it's just a bit more, you know, laborious. Mm -hmm. 
for example, these knee knee pull vectors they should uh, should kind of follow the character around, and I don't have to drag it always and try to find them where the other one actually went. Where is the other one? So driving back to these does it bring you back some? Good old memories. Some pain, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some real pain. No, I mean, uh, obviously these... Uh, building these rigs were a big part of my um, like, like time and... and, uh, and, and uh, job. Uh, and they were, they were challenging enough at the time. These days, uh, I use uh, big different systems. I don't necessarily make my rigs from scratch, mm -hmm. and they are also more robust, so it's much easier to work with them. I can't hear uh, the music on my side. Hmm? I can't hear my music with the uh, ourselves.
I mean, does it hurt you? To, hmm? uh, does it hurt you to have uh, uh, Red Tiger and Silver Wolf fighting? No. Does it pain you? It's about time. <laughs> This rig is a pain. Question: when, when did you start making animation? How did That's you get your start? Uh, well, probably the last two years of the school. Mm -hmm. um, we had these uh, these game jams and and game projects, and um, there was nobody else interested in in 3D and uh, animation. So um, I, I guess I started picking it up back then. Like most people were uh, interested in, in designing games and we had programmers and uh, technical artists and uh, concept artists, excellent concept artists, but 3D animation was, was not really a, a thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> No, it was actually uh, like uh, it was a small uh, project about a fawn, like a half goat, half human, mm -hmm. that uh, uh, was uh, making his way out from a from a secret underground laboratory to the surface and fought some gnomes on the way. <laughs> Sounds good, eh? Seems like an epic tale. Yep, it was. <laughs> 
it's funny actually, I uh, was just like a few days ago when I actually noticed that uh, Red Tiger has sort of like uh, high heel shoes, <laughs> sort of. Yes. Which reminded me immediately of Raiden from <laughs> Metal Gear. Yeah, probably there is some influence there, yeah. <laughs> That actually might have been my call, I'm not sure, I don't remember, but maybe I was playing that game at that time. I mean, there are worse places to reference things. <laughs> yeah. And here it's pretty, pretty awesome. Saying that the uh, game with the gnomes was actually pretty atmospheric. He, he remembers it. Yes. I'm not sure if fondly, but you know, he remembers it. That's what he said. Yeah. slightly change the plan because I won't have uh, I, I really remember that this rig had some more sophisticated solutions but it would be so, uh, it would be so uh, difficult to make uh, like twists and turns that I have planned because I would end up with uh, some serious gimbal issues uh, that, that uh, it would just break everything pretty much so I have to have a little bit Tone down from that one.
I asked him the question that whether he listens to a sort of so, uh, certain type of music when he's doing uh, his artwork. Do you have any like certain type of music you listen to when you're dealing with certain types of scenarios or animations, or is it just like gener generic music that you listen to anyway? Um, I, I I try uh, both and and. Um Sometimes I find that if I listen to uh, to like favorites or or um, to char characteristic music, then I, I just um, can't focus on the work. Mm -hmm. So um, no music or or really subtle uh, like uh, ambient music is much better to to actually get work done mm -hmm. for me. soundtracks or or just like a very ambient uh, soundscape style stuff yeah something like that like uh, there are some really good game music mm -hmm. that actually is, is subtle uh, okay, so I probably have to uh, cheat that sword as well Sure. If uh, if uh, Matthias's question came out just now or early, earlier, but you have kind of answered it already about the, whether you want to listen to uh, music during the scene or or just some generic ambient music. But yeah, I guess he wasn't listening back then. <laughs> Yeah, I, I try to listen to music, I love music, but uh, it, it distracts me a little bit.
said you're gonna animate a uh, fight scene but, uh, but is it actually like uh, it's just making it in reverse and it's actually about Red Tiger helping the silver wolf with the to get sword, the on the sword chest. out yeah <coughs> I like them both, uh, as I always say, I like to take a break from from one mm -hmm. and do the other one for a while. Uh, sometimes uh, it, uh, you know, it, it, it comes with the feeling that I have never done this before because I had a, like a month or two break from it. Mm -hmm. But um, 
probably I would get bored of, of each if I would just have to do the same thing every day. So it's nice to, to have that, uh, you know, modeling, rigging and animation uh, cycle going on. Do you find that uh, if you do both the modeling and rigging and then the animations, it's easier for you than if someone else has done one or both of the previous ones? Yeah. Uh, do you feel a connection with the models you make in a way that it's easier for you to see the animations? Yeah, sure, sure. And then actually on that note, I, I have to now also mention that these uh, rigs were designed so that these mechs are usually in the air mm -hmm. all the time and now I'm trying to uh, force them to do something they were not really meant to be. Uh, and um, yeah, obviously when I, when I model and then when I rig them, I already have some idea or some plan on how I would animate them. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> I do the, the modeling and rigging according to them. Animations wise, uh, what do you think are the your sort of favorites like games uh, like in the past few years? <laughs> or is this a topic where you, is that you can talk it's for hours? Yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> um, but if I just have to uh, say titles, then uh, obviously the, the the Naughty Dog games, mm -hmm. uh, Shadows of Colossus, Monster Hunter. Bayonetta, mm -hmm. uh, the later DMC games, um, yeah, I'm, I'm anyways like a, an action action mm -hmm. game player, if you can put it this way. I like games with a lot of animation.
probably uh, my timing is still very much off for this whole scene. But You do now a nice backflip. <coughs> you have like 30 minutes. Oh! Time flies. Yeah. Schedule extra time. <laughs> yeah, so yeah you it's, that. it's, this uh, is a, it's a, a very time-consuming uh, process. Yeah, it is, as you can see, and mm -hmm. I, I even uh, have to admit that I thought that I would fit more into this time. Mm -hmm. But time, time flies when you when you doodle around with with animations. I tell you, it's just polish after polish after polish after you. Oh, not not, e frame. not not even. Yeah. Just to uh, get the first ideas down, you see, is, uh, is, is quite. But especially after you made the uh, like the frame or the like uh, framework for the whole scene, then you just like every nook and cranny you turn and switch and Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Request from Frodo to kick him in the head. Yes, yes, exactly. That's coming <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's next Frodo. Um, he, he already knows. Uh, question he from Yuha. Uh, what do you think about Azura's rap? Yeah. Um, so some amazing footage from that game. I I, I would have been uh, absolutely ready to play it. It's just uh, I think a cons console um, like it, it's. Um, Console specific mm -hmm. title, right? It's only on Xbox. Question mark. It never came on PC. Yes, uh, it never came. So um. but yeah, um, Capcom games are, are, are also. We are at uh, 8 30 pm. that uh, our game or slash games are more awesome than Azura's rap. <laughs> uh, this right. was proclaimed by Frodo, so it has to be true. Yeah, it's a long day. Long day of work. It's like, what, like 14 hours? If we end up Stop yeah. at 12 midnight. Something like that. Totally worth it. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, we don't actually know when we're gonna stop after the uh, official... Well, we run out of booze. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, officially our schedule ends at what? Uh, something like uh, 11, 11.30 p.m. for us, but then we will, <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll, we'll be streaming until, well, at least when the, as long as the, uh, until the booze has all been drank.
an apple portion piece. No, it's not even apple portion, is it? What is this? It's USB C. It's a new standard bullshit. That's an excellent question. Can we actually run out of food here? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. I think we can. We have two like cardboard crates of the theoretically for everyone here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, back room. Oh, then we have We still have 30 minutes time to get more of a week. <laughs> okay. Um, Did we use all of the budget? I have no idea how much has been used today. What? Do we still have the good use of the project by the board? Promises of an SGW full team run. Oh, again. <laughs> new game plus, new game 10 plus speedrun. Frodo, <laughs> I hope you haven't spent too much time at uh, New I, Game I, I Plus 10 sure. because yeah. our game designer Villa just said that it's practically impossible to beat. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's at that point, the game is broken. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, because I think that it's impossible to prevent the heal at that point, so she just keeps healing. And you cannot beat that on me, I think, because I like it. I need something like that for tomorrow. Yeah. Behavior or something. Ah, challenge. Yes. Challenge. Still good. so you can slap him in the face for all the t all the times that uh, it, the Hive Queen has uh, bullied you. For every day, one slap. <laughs> Quite a few slaps. <laughs>
Wait, what was your favorite uh, uh, boss enemy to animate in SUW? Uh, probably the Theridium. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. The underwater boss. Yeah. It had also probably the most things going on on him at the same time. All the legs. The legs and the face, mm -hmm. shield and the tail and. This would be like a, for example, like a actual scene in a game. For example, how how much time would you say it would take to actually like from start to finish animate this? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but Your best uh, educated guess. Well, once again, if I would have read that a bit more. Uh, no allowing mm -hmm. then uh, well I've heard somewhere that like an average um, average uh, pace making uh, animation for games is around three four seconds a day uh, but also this, if, if this would be uh, tied to, to gameplay mm -hmm. Um, so it would be like a really a fighting game. Then uh, for example, pro probably it would it would need it would need a lot of iterations, mm -hmm. uh, and therefore the first iteration would need to be ready really quickly. Mm -hmm. And I would give him something like this where we can just simply look at what's happening and how the two characters interact, and how the timing of the whole thing feels, and then it would come back to me uh, for adjustments or polish. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to say because you don't uh, in games you don't animate like in, in, in at Pixar that you you get a scene and you just sit down and animate it the best you can. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a much more iterative process. Oh. 
over 15 minutes. Yeah, it's basically. I will stop whenever it's time. But at least we, uh, where you managed to sate um, Frodo's hunger of Silver Wolf getting kicked in the head. Yeah. It was, yes. <laughs> what? Yeah, when you set up the project is safe. Yes, there we go. Lap is Surprised my computer hasn't melted yet. It's been running pretty hard for the past three hours. It's cold Yeah. Finish her. Bison is also a character that just like shows so much character always. I really like his his uh, his like cocky and then strong poses. A lot of those I think I use in my works just subconsciously because it's just so remarkable. What the hell is this leg doing now? Uh, uh, yeah, I lost control over that leg. God damn it! Huge <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, okay, where did this happen? So I touch down with this. Sensory. 
Yeah, basically I, I broke the rig so <laughs> I can't use the controller anymore. At all? Nope. No, 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 it's just, just both. Over that. Forever. Yeah, yeah this happens and then, then you would uh, obviously go in and try to fix the connection between the, the controller and the, the skeleton and that's all the fun. Incredibly <laughs> <laughs> yeah, breaking rigs is, is much, not so much fun. To go. <laughs> you're going to go for new game plus, 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 You're going to go plus, for plus, new game plus infinity and beyond. Yeah, I think the whole game is technically beatable without getting this one if you're the first human you could. Which means, because there's no like, haha, you die attacks. Apart from... Okay. <laughs> there are very borderline. Yeah, but borderline, but technically not beatable. And then it's just a matter of basically avoiding them for a very long time. Or you can have a bad luck. Yeah. Or you can have a bad luck. It's not the brand new one. Yeah. I think it's just a bad luck. Yeah. Yeah. And also there's the red up ones that you get for other. I think those are one percent more of the money per okay. And you get three per stage plus then you buy. So it gets actually pretty complicated to calculate. But I think it's theoretically possible that you keep like a, like an island of satellite or whatever, like after you get plus five per number, where your scaling actually offset, like goes past that enemy scaling. Yes. And then you just, it gets easier. It's difficult to say what it is. Yeah. I, I can't remember if you get plus is this. That's the um, kind of bad scenario that I don't have these eye case because with these I could, you know, stick it to the sword. Yeah. And now I don't have that option. But I think uh, I can call this uh, for today. So just an idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was interesting to see, at least for myself, I have never seen the actual process of doing this. <laughs> so I had this little preview window as well, that's more like a fighting game perspective. But of course you could do something like... Uh, well, Frodo, you can actually play Stardust Galaxy Warriors and say it's Battlefront, so no one's gonna notice. They're basically the same game, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 
volver a hacer esa hierba. I'm only meeting anything in the scene. <laughs> I mean, Pretty simple, but yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a very like, that's probably the only place where the timing is is somewhat okay. In the rest, it's pretty uh, pretty uh, flat. See how I how I have the time. If I have, I will. We have some, a better setup now, so we yeah. can actually use your course to stream from here. Yeah. Let's try some cool pose here. Hello. 
Hey. Yeah. Our composer just got in house, so I guess we're gonna gonna start setting him up. And yep. Thanks, thanks a bit for this. Uh, well, really nice to actually. see. Really nice to see the process. Mm -hmm. It would yeah. actually be nice thanks to see if, if you can, uh, if you could uh, get the time at some point to actually clean that up and make it. Actually or actually make a fighting game, right? Yeah, that yeah. would be cool. That would be time. <laughs> nice, yeah. Okay, so All right, we're gonna see you guys. Yeah, yeah we're gonna set up now next uh, Matthias for his music stuff. Uh, so we'll be back in it for like 15 minutes or so. <laughs> see you then. I see you.